How is everybody doing? Welcome back to my channel. This week I have my client Noah coming from out of state. Welcome to Arizona. So first thing is first, like always, we're gonna go have breakfast and we're gonna discuss his tattoo. Yo. Yo. Okay, what's poppin'? Uh, I'm outside. Oh, I'm in the wrong house. <laughs> Do you guys have like a big backyard? No, it's tiny. It's tiny. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> First one. Oh, yes, indeed. Wearing a, a sweater up in here. You're it's like nice. cozy. I cozy as fuck. You're cozy boys right now. Mm -hmm. Yo. Good morning. Thank you so much. Uh, Welcome back. How are you? Doing? We're back again, like always. Still here. Yeah. <laughs> there's two or three. Yeah, three. three. Yeah, three. yeah. yeah we're waiting another person. Okay. Do you want yeah. the juices again? Ah, uh, yeah. yes, yeah. please. Drop. Brutal tu contenido y ahorita en español más brutal todavía. Yo soy de Venezuela, soy tatuador también. Eh, Un gran saludo para todos los de Venezuela, muchísimas gracias por ver mis videos y un especial saludo para Zack Tattoo, muchas gracias. And like every week I encourage everybody to drop a comment and to tell me what was your favorite part of this video. But for this week I want you guys to drop a really positive comment to brighten up somebody's day. You never know who might need it. And I'm going to pick somebody from the comments so I can sell you some money so you can take your families or your friends out for breakfast or lunch. It's on me. And here is last week's winner. I hope you enjoyed your meal with your family. How you doing, man? How are you? How you doing? That's my dad. Go ahead and have a seat. Yeah. So you guys are from New Jersey, or are you guys Philadelphia? Philadelphia. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. 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 Originally, I was born in uh, Florida, Boca Raton, um, but last like 15, 16 years, I've been in uh, Eastern Pennsylvania, very far from here. That concept. Did you um, customize that? Or? I can show you. Okay. I yeah. changed it like a little bit. Okay. I just didn't like the top portion of it. So that's what it is. I just changed like the top part and then the bottom. Like, the butterfly. Oh, so look at this. I mean, the the way you separated the tones and the the contrast in it, mm -hmm. it's perfect. I mean, this this is gonna heal perfect. Uh, right now I'm in school. I'm doing uh, communication design, new media, which is pretty much just graphic arts, graphic design. Um, so I was just messing around on Photoshop one day, and I just came up with it. Um, the portrait was like the first part, and then I had um, the butterfly, I added the butterfly. Um, the butterfly, it's just like a symbol of life, and just like progressing, always getting better, you know? Oh, this is gonna be crazy. I'm so excited. It's so different. It's so different, dude. Uh, uh, so thank you so much. Wow. wow. Look at this these. bacon. Look at yeah, this bacon. Good, huh? It looks look glossy. Good. Breakfast went great. I can't wait to get this tattoo started. It has so much personality, it has so much attitude and style that I know it's going to turn out great. Instagram Explore page I was just scrolling one day and I was like yo this work is crazy and then I, I kept on doing some research I looked at your videos and uh, just from there yo, what? Yo. This looks so cool. Shit. Wait, yo. that is gonna be insane Bro, this looks so fucking cool. <laughs> let me see it let me see it I'm excited Ooh. this is a project right here saucy After putting on the stencil, now I'm ready to set up my station and the needle that I'm going to be using is a 14 round shader, a 
15 curve mag, an 8 round liner, and a 3 round liner for the small little details. The inks that I use are Solid Ink and Star Bright. And for this tattoo, based on his skin, I'm going to be using really light tones, which is 30% black and 70% white. For my lightest tone, it's going to be 20% white and 80% black. So I got a little brand progression official. Um, it's the butterfly. That's like the main logo. Um, so I definitely wanted to add like the butterfly and have like a real statement piece, um, you know, back in the brand. So what I'm doing right now, all I'm doing is basically dipping back and forth between my black and my lightest gray to my mid tone. To, you know, have fun with it. Have some light tones, some darker areas, like a vintage wallpaper, I guess. Hands can be really tricky, and the way I tattoo hands in order for them not to fade, uh, obviously there are areas that uh, it's inevitable, like this area right here is gonna fade, this area right here is gonna fade, in, or the knuckles. But when it comes down to the top of the hand, the way I tattoo hands and that I feel like is the most effective, in my opinion, is a slow hand speed with a low voltage, which in my case I use a 5.0. That way I give the needle a chance to penetrate at a good pace and not irritate the skin as fast. Quick shout out to our apprentice from the shop, Tattoos by Mick G. He got down today tattooing my client's dad. I actually didn't even know he was gonna get tattooed. Um, I, I first brought it up, I was like, oh dad, I'm going to Phoenix, I'm um, getting a tattoo. And he was like, let me see if I can get a flight. So he hooked me up, I appreciate it. Super, super appreciate it. I'm super thankful that he came though. It was a good bonding experience. I wanted to give you guys a little bit of information about the difference between true gray tattoos and black and gray tattoos. A lot of artists use the drop system and what that means is that some artists drop one drop of black and fill it up with water, distilled water, or five drops or ten drops and that's how they make their tones. They know their setup so well that they know that if they go this dark, once it heals, it's gonna look perfect. And if the artist knows how to apply, how to execute and apply and have enough experience, that tattoo is going to look great in 3, 5, 10 years, 20 years. Now the difference from black and gray to true grays is that true grays, the way that tattoo looks fresh is going to look exactly the same once it heals. Uh, and it will not fade in, in many years because you're basically packing in color. So do your research and go with the person that specializes in that style or else you're gonna have a really bad experience and you're gonna think every tattoo is the same, which is that's not the case. Uh, so do your research and make sure you look at the artist's heel tattoos. Basically what I'm trying to say is that lettering, black and gray, true grays, or color tattoos will heal perfect and will last forever if it's applied the right way. So do your research. spray it was it worked wonders like if as soon as he put it on it started singing but it's, I mean it's normal and then it, like maybe 30 40 seconds later it was good I didn't feel a thing I'm gonna be using a seven round liner because I feel like it's the perfect needle I don't know how to explain it. it's just the feeling that I got I'm gonna be able to get in there Painful part was definitely the hand. I was expecting an elbow 
elbow to hurt just as much as the hand. But uh, right here on the inside, that was like, I wanted to scream to be honest. I had a great experience. Well, I would definitely come back not only for the tattoo, but just to sightsee, hike a little bit more. I'm only here for like three, four days, but I did get to hike a little bit. And like the sunsets are through the roof. It's crazy. I want to thank you guys again for always tuning in to watch my videos. I really appreciate it. Also, a big shout out to my client for sitting like a rock. Make sure to follow him on Instagram. This is his brand. I love his brand. It's really inspiring. And I feel I can speak to a lot of people. Make sure to always show some love and support to your friends and families and whoever's trying to make it out there. So many creative people out there, but there's not enough support. Share the love and share the support. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Appreciate you. Book with my mans, hit him up, and hit me up, Progression Official. Peace. Peace. Er, er.